Okay, next on our task list is to estimate A and B, which are the numbers of species that have been seen once exactly and twice exactly in a particular grid cell. So we're going to go back to our working file, all the way back to here. I'm going to copy it. We're going to paste that in a new sheet. Then we're going to make sure we have unique records. So we're going to use advanced filter. And actually, you can see here lines six and seven are in not unique records. So those will disappear once this finishes its filter. This can take a little while because the Ghana data set is quite a number of records. Be patient, be patient. It's gonna happen soon. There we go, it happened. We're gonna copy this data set into yet another sheet, paste it. So now these are unique combinations of grid ID, species name, and time. And so we can do yet another pivot table, but this one's going to be different in its format. This one is going to have ID along the left as last time, but we're going to put species names across the top in the columns. And then, once again, the values are going to be the sum of our dummy variable. And so you can see already there are values in the middle which represent the number of times, which is to say the number of days, on which a particular species was recorded. And that includes any one of them that is a 1 is A, and any one of them is that is a 2 is B. So all we have to do now is go all the way over to the end of this and use this trick count if. And essentially we want from B5, which is all the way at the left end, to FIR5. In this case, it'll be different for every data set, but we want to scan across all those records and see which ones fit the criterion of equals 1. That's going to be our A, and then I'm going to copy it. Oops, I made a mistake as usual. And now it's correct, almost. There we go. And now we can go to B, use the same formula. Don't copy and paste the formula. Just grab the, the actual text of the formula and substitute a 2 for a 1. And of course I have to fix that same error. But now it should be working. And so what does this say? Across that whole range, how many species have a sum of one day seen? And in the next column, how many species in that same range have a frequency of two times seen? So that is A and B. And we can then move that formula down. And then just to be sure we don't mess anything up, we're going to go back and we're going to grab our row labels as well. So now we're going to take those three and we're going to go back to our summary sheet. As usual, we check, oops, sorry, we paste as values. 
As usual, we check to make sure that our row labels are the same. Back to our original row level labels, they are, so we can get rid of that column. And now we have n number of species and the number of species seen once and the number of species seen twice. So we now have all the ingredients for calculating an expected number of species.